So, uh, did you guys know that the uh, the red carpet world premiere of Disney's new live-action Haunted Mansion movie happened today? <laughs> it was a surprise to me. I didn't know that they had the premiere today. And as you all know, uh, the actor strike is happening. It has happened for the past couple of days or so. So, you would think that, you know, you would suspect that maybe uh, some studios would delay... The release of their movies maybe some studios would delay the release of their uh, or or the, the delay the events of their premieres but nope disney uh, had it today and i want to show you <laughs> some uh, the funny stuff is that like you wonder like are there going to be are were there going to be stars showing up uh at this premiere and of course there weren't going to be any stars showing up because the stars are members of sag aftra so they they have to you know under the uh condition they they are not allowed to attend premieres or junkets or anything like that so here's the footage from the premiere from different sources on, that i get on twitter here because the premiere was taking place at disneyland right in front of, right in front of the haunted mansion uh theme ride theme theme ride um they were gonna have the stars there, but of course the stars are on strike. So instead, Disney had Disney villains. Um, you know, people who work, uh, the cast members uh, at Disneyland, showing up as Disney villains. <laughs> it's so um, weird and creative at the same time, but also like super sad because you never saw, at least I had never seen a red carpet this empty um take a look at this uh, i think there's an audio for this so, in this one as you can see cruella de vil <laughs> was the only person on the red carpet during this moment <laughs> And that's the uh, the theme ride on the mansion. If you've been to Disneyland before, it's been it's been about five or six years since the last time I was at Disneyland. I can't afford it anymore because they keep raising the ticket prices every year. I, I, I don't know how. I guess I guess Disneyland is now a place only for rich people. Uh, so let's get to the next video here. Uh, this is also again Cruella de Vil from the same from the same angle. This is this is not a Disney villain. I think this is one of their princess. Maybe I don't know who who is this guys. Those of you Disney fans, is this like a version of Mary Poppins? <laughs> and she's standing on the grass, not even on the red carpet. What's what's she doing? Like, get off the grass, lady. Get off my lawn! If Clint Eastwood from Grand, um, Grand Torino was here. Get off my lawn! Of course, okay, so this one, who is this one? Oh, this one is Maleficent! Maleficent shows up! At the uh, red, carpet, red carpet world premiere of Disney's live action Haunted Mansion. Closer I say. Excuse me. Look at her. She's kind of hot. <laughs> Look at all the publicists in the background, man. So, let's get to the next video. Oh, Mickey and Minnie! Mickey and Minnie showed up! On the red carpet, world premiere. Oh, and they're hugging a fan. Oh. Or is that a publicist? <laughs> Next guest, I'm right on up. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Next guest, I'm right on up. Hey, they are stars, to be fair. Mickey and Minnie are stars, right? So you can't really say that the Haunted Mansion premiere was not attended by stars. Next guest, Because right these are the biggest stars of Disney. Oh. Who else? Oh, this is the uh, the classic version of Maleficent. You know, the the, the one that we saw earlier was the, you know, Angelina Jolie 
version of Maleficent. This is a Maleficent classic version, original design. Wait, wait, let me pause this. Can I tell you guys a, a funny story? I was at Disneyland again five, six years ago, and I saw from afar this little kid. You know, little kids, they're so naive. They think they think things are not things that are not real. They think that those things are real, you know? They have such active imagination and they believe everything they see on TV or on, on, on the movies. Uh, so I was at Disneyland and I saw from afar this Maleficent, not this specific actress, but you know, somebody dressed up as this version of Maleficent, getting chased after by a little kid. I kid you not, maybe two little kids running, like chasing her down around and they're yelling like, why are you evil? Why are you evil? <laughs> Why are you evil? And the, the I, I feel so sorry for the Maleficent actors because they she she's trying to run away from these little kids. Like, no, I, I want to go to my lunch. <laughs> she, she, she's about to have her, you know, she's about to get her break, you know, from her shift. But these kids won't leave her alone and just keep chasing her down. And like, oh, my God, why are you evil? Why are you evil? And the, you see the sheer like actual terror in the uh, terror in the uh, maleficent face like please leave me alone kids and the parents were nowhere to be found it was so so funny i was just laughing from afar i know i, I shouldn't be laughing but it was funny it was funny um so okay so the band is playing so there's a band there uh Now, if you're wondering, oh, so why is why is my background here? Sorry, guys. There you go. Can I get the background on again, please? There you go. Now, if you're wondering why um, is it possible? Why it is possible for these um, cast members, if you will, to show up, you know, uh, dress as in uh, as Disney villains and Disney characters? Um, you're wondering like, why Rama? Aren't they actors? Well, obviously they're not members of the union. Obviously they're not members of SAG-AFTRA actors. Um, they're just cast members of Disneyland. They work, you know, directly for Disney. Uh, this is what they're paid for on a daily basis. They get, you know, they, they, they dress up and they meet kids, you know, and they have their shifts. Um, so they're not quote unquote actors, if you will. Um, and this is the director, Justin Simeon. Uh, he showed up. So, uh, and I was told, I think I read somewhere that, um, that, let's see, let's make this video bigger so the, uh, the background won't get any black anymore. It keeps going dark on me. It keeps, it keeps cutting to black, uh, the background. So, okay, here it is. Here's Justin Simeon, the director of Haunted Mansion. <laughs> and word has it, I was told, I read somewhere that um, the press who were there on the red carpet this evening were specifically instructed by the publicists there that they that there, that there should no be... There, there should no <laughs> interviews be conducted. <laughs> no <laughs> interviews are allowed to happen on the red carpet today. So not even director Justin Simeon is allowed to talk to the, uh, the press. So I feel bad for the press, you know, because I cover red carpets too. I, don't, I didn't get invited to this one. I did not get invited to this one, but I know how it feels like, you know, be waiting for the premiere to start and then to, to have to crunch up in between other press members sometimes you know you get oh yeah space taken because there's a bigger bigger press like variety needs a bigger space and you get all you know sometimes somebody will cut uh, walk into your frame the camera frame it, it's it's painful you know, being press the red carpet. and now having you know and now being told no you can't interview anybody especially the director that kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. That's a waste of gas, waste of mileage going there. Um, but yeah, I, I would I would feel bummed out, man. Uh, so I'll end on this. Uh, let me bring it back to the um, the you know what? I gotta say, I think the the timing of this SAG after or actor strike 
is kind of convenient for um for for Hollywood in a way not convenient right now obviously because they don't have their stars to promote their film convenient in a way that it allows for at least Barbie and Oppenheimer to have their premieres before they shut down you know, before everything shut down could you imagine if the act you know I mean, I saw the photos and the videos from the Barbie premiere, even though I did not get invited. I'm like, man, that looks so lovely. Everything's pink. Everything's colorful. You know, Ryan was there. Margot was there. Imagine if that that didn't happen. You know, that would that would be such a total bummer. Um, because what I saw from that premiere or the footage and the photos, man, man, that was one hell of an event. And I'm glad that that actually took place. You know, it went down. As something that did happen um, and Oppenheimer as well and those are the two biggest pretty much two the, the biggest uh, summer movies left uh, <laughs> at least to my recollection I, I don't know what else is coming up until we get to the award season the fall season so uh, you know Haunted Mansion yeah, I'm gonna just say it man who cares who cares about Haunted Mansion? I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, I get the invite already for, for the screening after Comic-Con. But I'm not too stoked about it. Uh, the, the last Haunted Mansion movie with Eddie Murphy, that was not a very good film. That was terrible. So, like, ah, who cares if the stars did not show up for Haunted Mansion red carpet? But it's also, at the same time, it's, um, you know, it's an indictment, man, of what, what is going to be happening for the next six months. Uh, while this strike is is happening um, till the end of this fall, um, or ho hopefully shorter than that, in that um, San, Di San Diego Comic Con next week, there's not going to be any stars. There's not going to be any actors. It's going to be like the red carpet at the Haunted Mansion. It's going to be pretty, pretty low key, kind of sad in a way, because <laughs> there's no hype, no glamour. You know, and all the other premieres that are going to be happening from now on. That's what you saw at the Haunted, you know, on the on, on that videos, on those videos of Haunted Mansion premiere. That is pretty much what's, that is pretty much the blueprint of what's going to happen with all the rest of the premieres, the, the rest of this fall, uh, summer and fall season. You know, uh, should the studio k keep those premieres happening? <laughs> um I know for sure that Universal Pictures just recently canceled their Oppenheimer Los Angeles premiere. So that's one option, right? An option like, you know, the studios can just cancel the, the event. You know, they just they, they have the, the movie still released on the same release date. You know, they're not going to delay the release date. But just cancel the event, cancel the premiere, you know. Why have it looking so sad and empty like Haunted Mansion? Um, but hey, I, you know, Disney, Disney's got money to burn. I guess they don't care feel you know looking embarrassed like that you know <laughs> just having disney villain and disney characters showing up um so um yeah man that's that's pretty much uh, uh a reflection of what's gonna uh, what 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 the rest of the or the other red carpet premieres are gonna look like uh, from other studios as well that that haunted mansion that's what that's what's gonna happen um so what do you guys think about all this let me know your thoughts in the comment section below those are funny funny videos in my opinion oh maleficent uh, uh, the girl that looks like mary poppins mickey and minnie showing up wow i had never seen a red carpet in that way before um having been in this business for the past decade or so so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always subscribe 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 let's rock this